allow with me. Back on story. Hi kids. For today's book, we are going to read The Principal from the Back Lagoon by Mike Toller, Pictures by Jared Lee. If you have this book, grab it and let's start reading. It's the third day of school. I've been sent to the principal's office. What a bummer. I hear the principal. Mrs. Green is a real monster. Kids go to her office and never come back. The waiting room is supposed to be filled with bones and skeletons. Doris Fuddle was sent there for chewing gum. They say her skeleton still has a bubble gum in its mouth. I walk in. I take a seat. The rug is red. That's so the plant won't show. I hear she uses tall kids as coat rocks. The short kids she fits to her pet alligator. The fat ones she uses as paperweights. The thin ones she uses as bookmarks. I'm too young to be a bookmark. Then there's her 12-foot puddle. It's supposed to have poison spikes on it. If you're lucky, you get put in the cages. She has them under her desk. If you're really lucky, you get sent home in chains. But most kids, she keeps for her experiments. Derek Bloom was sent here yesterday. They say he wind up with the head of a dog. They say Freddie Jones has the feet of a chicken and Eric Porter the hands of a hamster. I'm too good looking to have the ears of a rabbit. All I did was snatch Mrs. Jones's wig. It's very quiet today. Usually they say there's a lot of screaming. Maybe she's in a good mood. Even if I survive, this will affect my whole life. In the future, I'll be running for president. I'll be ahead in the polls. And then it will come out. I can see the headlines. Presidential candidate sent to the principal's office. Oh, no. Uh-oh. There's a shadow at the class. Now in a jaws of faith. And door slowly opens. There's a pretty woman standing there. She's a master of disguise. Come in, Hubi. I go in. She closes the door behind me. I look around. There's only the coat rack. It doesn't look like anyone I know. I look around for the alligator. There's only a turtle. It looks a little like Randy Potts. Now, says Miss Green, are we having a little trouble in class? Well, says I, I was sweeping up the room and by accident, Mrs. Jones's wig got caught in the broom handle. Well, we'll have to apologize, won't we? Yes, we will. And the next time, we'll have to be more careful. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Now run along. Is that all? Close the door. Boy, was I lucky. Those flowers on her desk were probably poisonous. Just one whiff and you can turn purple and die. Fortunately, I held my breath. I went into her cave and I have returned without the ears of a rabbit. I'll have to sweep her office sometime and see if she wears a wig. The end. I hope that you guys enjoy this book. And if you want to watch and listen for more, tune in and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and listening. See you next time. For watching, don't forget to subscribe.